we've missed out on a fair bit of mountain time in the last couple of years and we're all desperate to get back out there. So uh, you've got desperate. a few tips for us, haven't you? Yeah, I have. I mean, I've been talking to the guys at Ski Weekends, actually, about really maximising your time on the slopes and, and how they deal with that. It's a short break specialist operator. I think one of the key things is accommodation. Yeah. Um, ski and ski out? Ski and ski out. Obviously, if you're going to max, if you're only there for a few days, you know, yeah. let's let's not worry about um, taking buses and resorts. But yeah, ski and ski out is really important. But even more key, I think, is is the type of accommodation. You know, if you if you're on a self catered holiday, it obviously takes a lot of time up. Um, even just thinking about whether you're going to go out or not. If you've got a catered chalet to go to a hotel, um, you know, with half board, it's just going to make things a lot easier and quicker for a short break trip. So yeah. it's worth doing that. That's and amazing. and also, obviously, if we look at travel, um, yep. we kind of want to be getting the early flight or the last flight out, get that extra time on the slopes. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, people are pretty savvy travelers, but, you know, check the, check the regional airports, all the flight routes and things. For example, you know, look at the airports in the Alps that are going to be a short, uh, a short transfer time to the resort. So, for example, like Geneva, you know, those Port de Soleil resorts are, are pretty close, right? They're, they're relatively close. So, so they would be an ideal destination uh, if you're flying into Geneva, for example. I mean, with transfers, you know, you could rent a car, but sometimes that can take time at the airport. Another option is a private, if you're in a group, you know, a private group transfer can be very effective yeah. and you won't have that hanging around at the airport kind of thing on a private transfer like that. So that can be the best option. Finally, just, just to say, you know, I caught up, as I said, I caught up with the Ski Weekends guys. They've been operating uh, short breaks for 30 years now and they really know their stuff. And I think it, the most important thing of all is to book with an operator that really understands uh, short break ski holidays. So you can just get it spot on. You don't need to worry about anything.